Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Yesterday was JSU Double Read Day, and in honor of Double Read players everywhere, I'm going to mix things up a little bit on my channel and talk to you about oboe mandrels and homemade oboe mandrels. What? Now, for those of you that are bassoonists, I'm getting closer and closer to knowing you guys, my subscriber base, and so many of you double on other instruments that you might find this helpful. For those of you that are bassoonists that do not double, you might be spending so much time in the reed room with oboists, and you might notice that they get a little bit intense about reed making because their reeds are so much smaller than ours, and oftentimes they're trying to just hold on to the staple of the reed. I find that when my own OBOS at JSU just try to hold on to the staple, they are more crouched over, so their upper backs are at a poorer position, and also their hands have a tendency to cramp up as they are trying to scrape because they're holding on to such a small piece. When I tried to have them use a typical oboe mandrel and scrape at the same time, the plaque and the mandrel were running into one another. So then I started talking to more of my oboe friends and it's really starting to develop that oboists are making their own mandrels and we at JSU have tried it and loved it. So hopefully you guys out there will love this too. Yeah. In order to make your own oboe mandrel, you are going to need a champagne cork. You can also use a Prosecco cork. Many of the types of wines that have the bubbles in them will have the shape cork that is round at the top and flared at the base. You're going to need a drill and drill bit. You are going to need a hammer, a piece of wood so when you drill you don't go through the cork and into the floor, safety gloves, a hollowed out ballpoint pen. We found that the Bic pens work really well or you could also use sometimes the hollowed out uh, pen cap, a ruler, a sharpie. Okay, let's get started. The goal of the ballpoint pen is to create a surface that is unchanging on the inside of the champagne cork after you drill the hole. A bit that will hold the staple of the reed. So you want to hollow out and cut the ballpoint pen in order to fit the length of the cork. It will also have rough edges after you finish this, so it is great to go ahead and take an emery board to make sure you don't have any sharp edges that you could cut yourself on as you are going to then later hammer this into the cork. For us, we found that you need to mark the center of the cork. So we took a ruler, put it on the edge of the cork and found the center of it, marked it with a Sharpie so that we drilled in the direct center. Our first attempts of this where we did not mark the center but we tried to eye it up gave us some cattywonky results. So taking this extra step will help. From there, we put safety gloves on, held on to the cork and uh, set it on top of the wood drilled a hole in the direct center, hammered our piece of ballpoint pen that had been hollowed out into the cork, and voila, we had new oboe mandrels. This quick and easy step is great for those of you that need a little bit more to hold on to as you're scraping the reed. For many of my students that also have a little bit of arthritis or hand tension, maybe even some carpal tunnel, I find these are a fantastic asset. I hope you guys liked this and this uh, love to our double reed players, not just bassoonists, but also oboists, and that those of you who do double enjoyed this. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to make sure you don't miss any future videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to keep up on all of the arts and crafts endeavors that I do as part of being a double reed player, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I am a firm believer in listening to new music in part because it gives us an idea of the pulse of right now. The idea of this is art that we will be remembered for, our generation, and also it's an example of where our inner heartbeat is as a world. So for me, I was very excited to see that it was all, in, all newly composed music.